I'm the team leader for the Treatment Foster Care Oregon program. Look, when I first finished uni, I, um, I just finished my psychology degree and I actually worked in foster care as a case manager um, in, in Melbourne for a couple of years, funnily enough in Dandenong, where I work now. Um, uh, then then I, I moved to New Zealand and was lucky enough to um, get a job in multi-systemic therapy, MST, as an MST therapist. MST is also an evidence-based model, so I think it was really through that role there that you know I really developed a passion for evidence-based models. Um, that they provide a really good structure, um, which I felt was probably lacking in my previous job. Uh, while I was also in New Zealand, I was lucky enough to um, have the secondment as a clinical team leader in one of the youth justice uh, custody facilities. And then after I'd worked in New Zealand for a while, I also I moved to Sydney and also practiced MST as a supervisor there for a couple of years. After that, I worked in implementation. So a little bit di of a different role. Um, I was in implementation for the Parenting Research Centre for three years where, you know, evidence-based practice was a, a, a real key part of the Parenting Research Centre. However, I was more into a, an implementation role, so helping other agencies implement new models, whereas now I'm, I'm back to my true love, which is, which is service delivery. So I'd always kept an eye on Treatment Foster Care Oregon as a model because when I'd look at, you know, uh, outcomes and cost-benefit analysis from my MST days, TFCO was always up there in, in the most sort of the most beneficial programs. So when I saw the ad with Ozchild, I was I was really excited that finally Victoria looks to be um, investing in some some ABMs. There were two separate trainings for before we went live. The TFC consultants came out from America and they provided us with four day of clinical training for myself and all the new staff. There was a two day training for our new foster carers, um, giving us background to the model and also giving us an idea of um, you know, our roles and responsibilities. Uh, in, in addition to that, we also had, um, you know, weekly phone calls with the TFC consultants as what we'd call, you know, readiness calls. So in terms of implementing the model before we go live, what are the things that Auschild needs to think about of how we're going to fit this new model into our organisation and what, are, what can we prepare to, to make sure we're as ready as possible when we go live? Look, the best thing about working at Auschild is the, the way that they have invested uh, in evidence-based programs. You know, w when I saw that, um, you know, Treatment Foster Care Oregon was, um, you know, there were ads uh, going out for that, I was just really excited. I suppose the other thing I love about Auschild is just uh, how friendly and welcoming um, everyone is when you, no matter what office you go into, uh, it's got a, um, I think it's got a great culture and uh, a very friendly environment.